this is late night. We hope you're doing well tonight. Now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden yesterday announced an additional $200 million in funds for Ukraine, which is great, but it's not enough money to fight a war. It's barely enough money to make a movie about a war. <laughs> That's right. Ukrainian President Zelensky spoke with lawmakers yesterday on Capitol Hill and said, keep your weapons. Just give me this guy. President Biden has reportedly told confidants that he feels guilty about his son Hunter's legal issues and feels that Hunter wouldn't be facing criminal prosecutions if he had not run for president in 2020. Hell, with his resume, Hunter would probably be looking at a spot in Trump's cabinet. <laughs> Secretary of Parties. <laughs> Former President Trump is selling pieces of the suit he wore during his mugshot, or for 10 bucks, you can just go to a Joseph A. Bank and get the whole thing. <laughs> That's right, former President Trump is selling pieces of the suit he wore during his mugshot. You know, like billionaires do. <laughs> you think Rupert Murdoch would sell you his suit? If he thought you wanted his suit, he would burn it in front of you. <laughs> there you go, mate. Take all the ashes you want. CNN hosted a town hall event last night in Iowa with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. It's a rare example of a sentence in which Iowa is the most interesting word. <laughs> the FBI arrested an internet pornography personality last week for allegedly participating in the attack on the Capitol. He was the one who went in the rear entrance. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let me try again. I apologize. The FBI arrested an internet pornography personality last week for allegedly participating in the attack on the Capitol. Well, you didn't get Mike Pence, but at least one guy was hung. <laughs> we fixed it. According to a new survey, 40% of millennials think that couples should talk about finances before a relationship gets serious. Said one millennial couple, we're good. In an effort to stop Smith & Wesson from manufacturing assault rifles, a group of Catholic nuns recently filed a lawsuit against the gunmaker, but only because they prefer a more traditional assault weapon. <laughs> and finally, the makers of Doritos have announced a partnership with the flavor company Empirical to offer a nacho cheese-flavored alcohol. It's a perfect way to celebrate when Maury says you're not the father. <laughs>